In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to find the greatest common divisor and the extended Euclidean algorithm. We're going to prove the theorem for integers a and b of which both are not zero. There exist integers x and y such that gcd ab equals ax plus by. In our example, we're going to find the GCD of 986 and 104. And our goal here in order to find the GCD is to get a remainder of zero. So we're going to take our smaller number and make it the divisor and our larger number make it the dividend. So we have 986 divided by 104 equals 9 with the remainder of 50 and we're going to rewrite our equation as 986 equals 9 times 104 plus our remainder of 50. And here we're going to take our remainder and make it the divisor and make our divisor the dividend. So we have 104 divided by 50 equals 2 with the remainder of 4. And we'll rewrite that equation as 104 equals 2 times 50 plus 4. And we'll take our remainder and make it the divisor. Take our divisor and make it the dividend. We have 50 divided by 4 equals 12 with the remainder of 2. And when we rewrite that equation, we'll get 50 equals 12 times 4 plus the remainder of 2. And we'll take that remainder and make it the divisor and make our divisor the dividend and we get 4 divided by 2 equals 2 and we get when we rewrite that equation we get 4 equals 2 times 2 plus 0 and we finally have our 0 so we have our common denominator which is 2 common divisor just 2 greatest common divisor of 986 and 104 is 2. Okay, and in order to find our extended Euclidean algorithm, we have to rewrite our equations. This is the formula we're trying to, this is what we're trying to get to. 986x plus 104y equals 2, our greatest common divisor. Okay, and when we rewrite these equations, we're simply uh, setting, setting everything equal to the remainders. Okay, so here we're going to make everything equal 50, make this equation equal 50. So we have, uh, we're going to take 9 times 104 and just subtract it from both sides. And this is what you would get, 986 minus 9 times 104 equals 50. And here you would subtract 2 times 50 from both sides. And this is what you would get. And here subtract 12 times 4 from both sides. And this is the formula you would get. And here we see that this is also equal to 2. So we can stop right there. We don't need this formula. Okay. Beginning with the next to the last equation of... 50 minus 12 times 4 equals 2, we're going to begin to eliminate our remainders by using substitution. And this is our goal. We want to get, we want to uh, make our equation uh, equal 986 plus 104y equals 2. Okay, so starting with uh, 50 minus 12 times 4 equals 2. Here, in this equation, we have a 4. And over here, uh, 104 minus 2 times 50 equals 4. So what we can do is substitute this this uh, equation in for 4. And so that will give us 50 minus 12 times 104 minus 2 times 50 equals 2. Okay, and we'll distribute that out and we'll get uh, 50 minus 12 times 104 plus 24 times 50 equals 2 and here I have my uh, like terms underlined I have 50 and 24 times 50 which would give you 25 times 50 
minus 12 times 104 equals 2. And here we see that we have a 50 and over here this equation equals 50. So we could just plug this equation in here and we'll get 25 times 986 minus 9 times 104 minus 12 times 104 equals 2. And I have all the I have the 104 in bold because this is what we want. We want to keep that 104 and we want to get that we want to keep that so we can use it. Okay, so when we distribute that out, we have 25 times 986 minus 225 times 104 minus 12 times 104 equals 2. Okay, so we have 25 times 986 and then we have a negative 225 times 104 and a negative 12 times 104 would give you a negative uh, 237 times 104 equals 2. And so here, if we take this and plug in, we can see what our x and y values are, 25 and negative 237. And okay, so this proves the uh, theorem of GCD AB equals 8x plus BY. Uh, GCD 986 and 104 equals 986x plus 104y. 2 equals 986 times 25 plus 104 times negative 237. And here's your x and y values again.